We're at the cargo ramp here in Boise. <clears throat> we are UPS 572. Pilot Edge will open up in eight minutes, so we should be good to go by the time we're, uh, we're ready to pull a clearance. Bringing some fresh potatoes to Colorado, exactly. Exactly. I was actually born in this town. I was, I was, I was. All right, we're going to go down here to the iPad. Going to bring this up. You can resize this, especially for your streaming, your streamer, your viewer pleasure. We're going to connect the ground power unit, attach the fuel truck. We got a sub crab. Have not been in as often, we but got hey, a sub -crab. nice controls animation. Thank you, Git Nick, for the sub crab. Thanks for joining today. Yeah, I've I've missed you. The controls, yeah, I mean it's kind of a cool thing to be able to see a little bit of the of the movement in the animation. We got the Thrustmaster Warthog Hotas as well as the MFG crosswind pedals going, so thanks for the sub crab. Was it only the five seven, or did they did they did update the six seven as well, Steve? Yep. And apparently, there's some pending updates that are on their way that are that are uh, there. It's even more more updates coming. They did a, I guess they did a preview of it recently. All right, uh, we'll bring in the loader unit. Um, that all looks good. Uh, today's fuel, let's put in 33,000. We're going to go uh, 7,250 on the weight. Pallet is going to be 5. And we'll optimize CG. Uh, we'll come to operations and then airplane, and we'll open all the doors. Then back to the ground, and we're going to hit load. Loading the plane. One quick and easy way to figure out which version you're using in the 757 or 76 is right here in the EFB. It'll show the version number right there. I do not have real limits on and I don't have real time on. And I've got, uh, I did turn on some I did turn on the modern EFIS panel I always like pip FMC lots of options in here uh, sim settings you got a lot of, of choices here I click on use better pushback because I can uh, <clears throat> so they should add you to the list of famous people from <laughs> yeah I left Boise when I was seven or eight years old yeah and migrated to Utah I would it would have been a different life growing up in in Boise um, is it an un no this is a towered airport yeah it's a towered airport Chief Lynn good morning the um, you I've never messed with the interaction type with the mouse clicks etc but you have a lot of options in here and of course, there's some new I haven't seen these before. They've probably been around for a while, but there's a lot of stuff here with regard to uh, virtual reality. Effects parameters. I like my CDU glow off. We do have an advanced rain effect. In flight, I have attached um, Navigraph to uh, the EFB here. So if I type in Boise, once this connects, then we can go Boise. And then I can bring up the different uh, plates here. So I can bring up the airport. And one thing I like about the EFB is that it brings down here on this lower portion of the EFB the charts that you're using right so if I pull up the if I pull up the uh, the departure procedure the Boise 3 
boom. So I can switch between the airport diagram, Boise 3 departure, and yeah, it's kind of cool. Now the other thing too is I can go to my destination airport. Rob War, how are you? And I can come up here. We're going to be doing, unless the wind changes, we're going to be doing the French 3 arrival. And uh, we're going to try for ILS 35 right. All right, so again, we click on the um, airport parking. And as you can see here, we are geo referenced. This is our plane down here in the UPS parking area, very close to the 10 right runway. And then I click on the Boise 3 departure, and I can reference this. It's a very simple departure. If I depart 10 left or 10 right, climb to 16,000 or lower assigned altitude on the Boise, Boise 098 radio. We got another subscribe. We got a subscribe. Have a great stream. We'll be lurking. Just turned. What plane is this? Cajun Cacti, almost two years of support. Thank you, Cajun Cacti. Do appreciate this. This is the 757 by Flight Factor. It's a new update. So thanks for the support. Hope you are well and hope you have some good fun weekend plans going on. And say hello to your son. Clara66, good day to you. Um, pretty simple departure. This does give us uh, the big sky departure frequencies to tune to, and depending on our heading, um, this is the frequency that we go to. So in our case, I think we're on 098, so yeah, we'll be going to uh, 196, right there. And then of course I can bring up the French 3 arrival via Guido. We're going to file via Guido, and this is Denver, coming into Denver. And then, again, we'll try to land on 3-5 right if the winds uh, stay the same. So it's kind of handy to have that in the plane. Here's the ILS chart, Category 3, if we need it, which we won't today. But And even if we get cleared for the visual approach, I think we'll still follow the localizer on in. I saw in the FSC reporter we're totally best on pi on the pilots flying. Yeah, did we have 90 something in the uh, FSC reporter? Pretty proud of that. Anywhere between 90 to 100 each month, it's it's pretty cool. Okay, so EFB is set up. I think normally I do a checklist, but I'm gonna YOLO it. I don't know if YOLO is the right word, but you do only live once. I'm going to click on the battery and I'm going to turn on external power, standby power to auto. I'm going to turn on the bus ties. And I will go ahead and start the alignment. Come down here to the FMC position and net GPS position right there. K K B O I. Destination Denba. I also, you know, I, not only did I live in Boise, but I also lived in Denver during high school for a bit. I um activate there. Perfinet. Gross weight, reserves of three. Cruise altitude, we're going to shoot for 35. And it always says unable cruise altitude. Oh, I didn't this time. Cool. All right, cost index 25. It might do it right here. Yeah, unable cruise altitude. Still haven't figured that one out. Have you guys figured that one out yet? Yeah, Rocky Mountain Man. That's a good way of putting it. Yeah, the triangle. What I should probably do is maybe go back to Boise and start over and do the, the Rocky Mountain Triangle one more time. 
All right, takeoff today will be flaps 5, CG of 24%, 4.0 on the trim. I'm just going to set that now. We don't have any hydraulics on, so I'm not able to set that right now. Turn that yaw damper on. Get some hydraulics going. And start the APU. Bring up the lower display unit here to see what the uh, APU temperature, EGT, RPM, etc. Just started using Ortho4XP. I'm blown away. Isn't it amazing? I'm going to have to redo my Ortho, though, because I noticed I was watching a... I was watching a video from 2017, and some spots around the U.S. in my former ortho looked better two years ago than they do now. Because I redid it, but I don't think I had the I don't think I had the correct parameters. So I'm gonna probably sometime this week look at what are the the best parameters as far as curve tolerance, masking, all of the range of options. And then I'm going to redo my ortho for fun. Next year, hard disk space will be blown away. Yeah, that's very true. All right. Uh, APU is started. We'll turn on the APU gen. I'll turn these gens on here. Get ready for engine start here momentarily. I'm going to put position light on. Scrolling up here to the top, we'll put on the emergency exit lights. And we'll do the left pump, right pump. We have a little bit in the center today, so we'll turn the center pumps on. Okay, flowing down again here. We got window heat. We got the no smoking sign. We're going to go to Denver, so the altitude for landing is about 54, 30. And we'll select the mode select auto two. Do you mind sharing sharing those parameter findings when you're satisfied? Sure. Yeah, you bet. In fact, I may just start a discussion on my Discord just to uh, kind of get a consensus amongst those that are active in the Discord. That'll be actually a good conversation for all to see. Uh, set the flight deck temperature, the forward cabin, aft cabin temperatures, trim air, recirc fan left and right. We'll turn the packs on now to get a little air conditioning going. Uh, bleeds can come on. Isolation valve can come on. All right. As you can see here in the upper webcam, I've got the uh, MCP panel going. Um, there's some things that are functional and then some things are not. So... but I can set the altitude, heading, mock speed, course, etc., which is kind of nice. I need to work on the Git profile for this and make it so the flight director and the auto throttle will work. Have I heard the new sounds for the default 738? No, I have not. Can you use the new def the new sounds with the Zebo? Or can anyone explain why you can't save view presets on the numpad for all aircraft? Um, I can. You're saying some don't? Like that's my 8, that's my 5, that's my 6, and then I can do that in any aircraft. Which aircraft are you referring to that you can't do that? And is your num lock on or off? Alright, I'm going to connect to Pilot Edge and I'm going to pull a clearance after I file, of course. So connect UPS 572. So your Carinado Baron 58 won't let you do it. That's bizarre. Again, is your is your num lock on? That's very strange. I haven't heard of that before. All right, we're going to go over to Pallet Edge.
Did you hit control and then the number? Yeah, that's, yeah. Yeah, you, you're able to do it in other planes, right? With, with the normal control and then uh, the number. All right, we're on the uh, Pilot Edge website. I'm going to click on the file flight plan IFR UPS 572 B752 slant golf true airspeed 450 Boise to Denver 35,000 feet alternate is Colorado Springs I guess I'm flying just the default livery now uh, one more time I'm gonna do Cadis Cadis Adis Kaden oh they switched so they're now landing to the south so that's gonna change things up a little bit French French 3 is for landing north and K, I think I believe the Kaylee 2 is for landing south so we're going to pull up Boise to Kaden yeah so we'll do the Boise 3 departure Roar, Pocatello, Guido, Kaylee 2 and then uh, Boise 3 yeah, I think that'll work. 35. Okay. And back into the plane. I'm just going to look at the uh, chart again here. So if we pull up the, f instead of the French 3, we'll leave that up there in the quick review list. Grab the Kaylee two. Do you like to set the default the views to default? Huh. Don't know what's going on there. Alright. This is the Kaylee. Expect ILS visual from from French zero nine four to scarf then as depicted. Okay. work then I over as always I like to go over to the map and just verify that we're all filed yep we are one thing I notice here is that we're not showing a frequency yet so if I look down here at the lower pedestal ATIS is 123.9er. Let's go pick up the ATIS. Yeah, we're tuned over to 123.9er, but it is not coming in, so let's check out something here. I think it's this one here. Point two eight right. There Visual we go. approaches in use. ILS runway 28 left approach and use. Had to hit VFR that button. Departures contact clearance delivery. Advise on course heading, altitude, and if flight following is JT requested. JT Kerr, good morning. Read back all runway assignments. Thank you, Nightbird 2335. Advise on initial contact. You have information, Quebec. Boise Air Terminal. ATIS information, Quebec. 1453 Zulu. Wind 230 at 6. Visibility 10. Sky condition clear. Temperature 23. Dew point 7. Altimeter 3004. Arriving and departing runways 28 left, 28 right. Visual images in use. ILS runway 28 left approach in use. 
VFR departures contact clearance delivery, advise on course heading, altitude, and if flight following is requested. Okay, so there's the ATIS there. And we're departing the two eights. That's interesting. So I'll have a little bit of a uh, taxi down to two eight left or right. All right, I'm going to turn it over to clearance uh, 125.9. And then I'll verify on the map that we're listed. Yep, cool. All right, so if those that didn't catch it, you have to click this little button here on the 757 in order to hear ATC. You have to just pull that volume out. That's your microphone selector, and then this is your audio. Pull it out because by default it's in and you can't hear anything. Make some room here for my scratch pad. Boise Clearance, UPS 572 IFR Denver. UPS 572 Boise Clearance, good morning. Clear to the Denver airport via the Boise 3 departure. Radar vectors roar, then it's mild. Maintain 16,000. Expect flight level 350, one zero minutes after departure. Departure frequency 119.6, squawk 5320. Clear to Denver, Boise 3, departure, radar vectors roar, then is filed up to and maintain 16,019.6 for departure and squawk 5320, UPS 572. Good morning. UPS 572, read back, correct, Davis, cut back, expect only 28 left for departure. Thank you. All right, I like it. I really like it when they give me expect this runway because it really helps with uh, with planning. You'll notice that I did not give the ATIS information to Clarence because I am of the firm belief that you should not unless requested. But you should always give it to ground. But there's a, there's a debate going on about that. I'm going to change my squawk code down here to 5 tree two zero. Normally you do, do TARA later on, but I'm going to do it now because I'm a one pilot man. Uh, we'll come down here. We'll do departure. Two eight left. Boise three departure. Uh, execute that. We'll go to the route page. Next page. So Boise three vectors, and then we're going to go to roar. So Romeo, Oscar, Alpha, Romeo, Romeo. After roar, we're going to go to uh, Pocatello, which is Papa India Hotel. And then that's good there. We'll go ahead and click departure arrival. Hit index Denver arrival. We're going to choose the Kaylee 2 via Guido. And we're going to try to land on. Well, we won't program it in an approach yet, but well, maybe we can just assume we're going to get the left side. Let me just take a look at something quickly here. In flight charts. Uh, bring up the KDN chart. I want to get one seven right or left. Yeah, so I'm assuming it would be left. Because cargo is right down here, so we'll request one seven left potentially if, or they may assign it to us we'll see all right back down to the FMC we can change this in route um, transition via Kaylee we'll probably be on vectors by that point you have a digital notebook for writing down ATC instruction you know what? I actually remember I got one of those for a friend of mine for his birthday. And uh, he uses it for the same thing, which is kind of cool. Uh, let's go. Okay, back to the legs page. Get rid of this discontinuity. Looks good to me. So we got Roar, Pocatello, Guido. 
down the uh, Kaylee 2 and then on into 1.7. We're going to request 1.7 left, but it'll be a while before we get there. All right, 1.7 left set up. I think we're good to go. And any questions? You use a, you use a whiteboard with a uh, Sharpie, with a dry erase, I mean. Okay, so let's go ahead and put on our red light for collision. Everything looks good here. Uh, we can bug up 16,000. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No FMC action going on. Let's... Interesting. We're going to restart the Glo Go Flight interface tool to see if we can get our FMC back. That looks good. Don't know what happened there. Hopefully we can bring that back. Ground is on 121.7, tower 18, one departure 196. Thank you. You're you're pretty, you're my you're like my FO today. Setting up those frequencies now. Dogo's here. Dogo DR with you, snack air baby. All right, there is. Hopefully this works now. I'll wait till that finishes up though. Yep, now we got it. Whew. All right, so if I zoom back into the MCP, we're gonna bug up uh, sixteen thousand. Uh, we're gonna do a runway heading. Two eight something back to the charts. Boise de three departure. We fly on the two seven eight radio from Boise. Okay. All right. We can bug up a mock speed. Normally you'd probably put V2 plus a little bit, but I'm curious about how Beyond Meat worked out for you. Dude, Doga, you have no idea what happened. It went like this, then it went like this, and then it went like this. <laughs> it was a wild, wild ride, but let's just say I was short. I was short uh, at two... 15 but I got out way too early wild ride yeah yep I could have bought a new car if I had just been if I had just waited 24 hours anyway live and learn um, I put too many eggs in one basket also for that situation and so I'm kind of done with those wild rides they're not good for the for the <laughs> stress levels all right let's do better pushback let's get rid of all of our uh, ground objects these guys are done loading yep the jets in so we'll come here to ground operations I am on APU gen right yes I am all right get rid of Even though the APU is on, you have to do the disconnecting of the external power here first, which is a real pain in the butt. Because the bus ties go off if you do this, I believe. I did that last time. We should be okay, though. All right, pull away the fuel truck and the loader unit. Go to the airplane. Close all the doors. Yes, it's deja vu time. See what happens when you brought up the beyond? I get all flush flush remigated. Flush remigated? It's okay. Perfinet reserves of Let's 
go here, ground, uh, 33. Do we still have 33? We should. Yeah, we do. Good. Gross weight, uh, 3, 350. 25, cost index, unable. Take off, flaps 5, trim. V speeds on 129, 132, 139. Yeah, the ride was yeah, the ride was completely real. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I I'll tell you the whole story. Maybe maybe during one of those uh maybe during the Friday night convoy. <laughs> Let's just put it this way, I I'm I didn't I, I didn't lose anything, but but I did. I didn't lose anything in the end, but Okay, Boise 3, again, we're going 2-8 left. Uh, route, perfinite, takeoff, departures, route. Roar. Papa India Hotel. Execute departures index. Kden doing the Kaylee to via Guido. And again, we're setting up for uh, ILS 17 left via Kaylee. Boom. Legs page, get rid of the discontinuity. Everything looks good there. Flight director on. Flight director on. Speed 16,000, heading 279. Gamer called Chris. How are you doing? Anders Norway will be back. Enjoy. Trucks and fake meat. <laughs> yeah. For those that are into American truck simming, we're going to have a convoy every... We have been having a convoy every Friday night, but this Friday we'll, we're meeting in Hobbs, New Mexico, of all places. Hobbs, New Mexico. So be there or be square. All right, so I'm going to go into here, and I'm going to go to ground, and I'm going to say start pushback. Boop. Ground a cockpit. Please show me where you want to go. We'll pull back into, actually, I'm going to pull back this way. See how that turn goes. Ground to cockpit. Tow is driving up. I wonder if you'd need the center pumps on when you only have 3.8 in them. I don't know. Will Rising, how are you? Good morning. Just want to run that push truck through its paces. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. All doors and hatches are closed. Ready to connect. Movement area or need to call? No, this is not movement area. Good, good, uh, good thinking though. Double checking that. So connected and bypass pin inserted. Release parking brake. Actually. Maybe some would consider this. A movement area because according to my scenery it, it is
But if I look at the chart, this cargo area is non-movement, and it doesn't become an it doesn't become a movement area until up there. Interesting. Starting pushback, and you may start engines. According to the chart, I'm okay, but from this this particular default global scenery for Boise, I it would probably probably I don't know. It's hard to say. Don't need it to request start, and you only need it to request push if pushing it. Yeah, exactly. That's what we're discussing is whether or not this is a non-movement area. Because normally this, this uh, you know, that line right there, the yellow checkered line, I would say that's a taxiway, right? Um, but on the chart, it's showing, if I geo-reference myself, it's showing that this is non-movement area right here. But, uh, you know. Oh, okay. Thanks, Eagle. Captain Tony Stark, how you doing? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was asking if, yeah, you you don't request, uh, exactly. You only request it if you're going into a movement area. Thank you, Eagle. Sorry about that. All right, we'll go in here. We'll do packs to off. Pressure is good. We'll start number two. Hit the display. Packs are off, but we're not getting any, uh... Operation complete. Set parking brake. Setting parking brake. Disconnecting tow. Stand by. Oh, there we go. I was looking in the wrong area. Here we go. 13, 14, 16. We're going to start it at 25, 20 to 25. Okay, adding fuel. Didn't mean to do that. disconnected and bypass pin has been removed. Hand signal will be on the left. We'll see you next time. Have a safe flight. But keep in mind, gamer called Chris, again, I'm not, you probably understand this, but for example, if I'm in Salt Lake City and I'm at the Bravo gates, uh, I have to request permission to push back because I'm pushing back onto an active taxiway. I think it's hotel. And so there's many situations where you do have to get permission. So just make sure that that, I think you understand that, but yeah. All right, let's start number one. Do, do they, so they do start at the gate on occasion, Eagle 11? 
makes sense, like on a, if they needed to cool things off or whatever. But then again, the ground crew is not going to like that. All right, we'll come back up here, and we'll go pack back to auto, and we will engine gen, engine gens are on. Turn the APU off. APU bleed can turn off. Everything looks good there. All right, I'm going to set uh, rejected takeoff. And I'm going to also set flaps five. All right, we are tuned to ground now. If you had like a group stop and the plane is loaded at an airport that doesn't have a grounder unit, they will sometimes request to start for bleed air. Ah, okay. Boise Ground, UPS 572, cargo ramp, taxi with Quebec. UPS 572, Boise Ground, runway 28 left, taxi via Juliet, Foxtrot, Bravo. Juliet, Foxtrot, Bravo to 28 left, UPS 572. Okay, so we're going to turn out here to Juliet. You'll be able to see the rudder the rudder animation as I make these uh, rudder movements. Interesting that I show Juliet going that way, but it's not labeled this way, but Foxtrot's this way, so. Storkman14, how are you? I'm almost thinking that I'm almost thinking that if I if I do another cargo run out of Boise, I may I may, I may request um, permission to push back onto Juliet because I mean it is labeled there. So just on the georeferencing on the FAA chart, it shows we're in the non-movement area whenever I'm doing that pivot. But I think we do in as far as far as the scenery is concerned, we should just simulate the incursion of Juliet and get permission. You guys take a look at that FAA chart. You'll see what I'm talking about, how it doesn't look like it's Juliet. And then there's this cargo area, and I guess the slashed lines are probably the uh, non-movement area. And I, I think we, we stayed in that, but maybe my georeferencing is off. We should just go off of the, the uh, taxi diagrams. The sexy pedals and ho ho hostess. Yep. Yeah, they're pretty good. All right, we're going to turn right on to Bravo. Good old thirst master, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, that brings back a f good memory.
You know, I, I think, I think we could have a good payware Boise. I don't think there is one. Maybe there's a good freeware one, but we th we were having fun. Yeah, that was a while ago. It was like twenty. Was that twenty sixteen? Yeah, that was a good time. Citation Max, good morning. I'm uh, on PE, yes, before you ask. <laughs> I'm flying out of Boise to Denver if you if you uh if you want to join, I'm in no rush. I almost I almost texted you this morning and said, Hey, I'm going Boise to Denver if you want to join, but then I thought I might have woke you up if I texted you because you sleep in a little bit. <laughs> YDG, good morning. Tarb56, hello. Who else? Did I miss anyone else? Yeah, Project Fly, I have the wrong arrival. Yep. And I wish you could, I wish, I wish you could edit. Hey, Dal Dalt Wallop is here. I missed him. Dalt Wallop. Dalt Wallop. Um, I wish you could go back and easily edit the route on Project Fly, and maybe you guys know a way of doing it. Um. You'll be home in one hour. Okay, cool. I, I, I think after the Denver flight, I, it will. Yeah, we'll see. If I'm, if I, it's gonna be a while, so I probably won't be in Denver before you get home. So yeah, we may do another one. But I may do TBM. I may do TBM. We'll see. You had the, you had the feeling that I was on PE. I like it. The vibe. <laughs> actually a robin are you talking about the the new robin dr 401 nightbird i actually do want to take that update out on pe as well but the tbm the tbm is more in uh in the citation max realm of of birds you spent seven hundred ninety five thousand on supplies for snack air thank you for taking care of our fbo's tarb 56 Tarb 56 really helps out snack air. We can afford it this month, huh, Tarb? <laughs> Tarb gave us a gazillion dollars. Smart co-pilot. I'm I'm actually not opposed to that idea, but the thing is is that we'd probably we'd probably have to test it offline. I mean, we we could try it. I mean, the new smart copilot client is pretty slick. So. Phoenix clearance delivery um, helicopter seven Victor Golf would like a VFR departure to the west at uh, 2,500. Helicopter seven Victor Golf Phoenix depart. Uh, Phoenix clearance cleared out of the Phoenix class Bravo airspace to the west. Maintain VFR 2,500. Uh, squawk four five three four. 